One of the difficulties when you assess western bean cutworm damage in um, BT plantings is knowing whether you're in the refuge or the BT. So it's going to be very hard to know if a given plant uh, contains certain BT traits or if it's a refuge plant. You can see we've got a plant here with a little bit of damage on it, clearly some feeding. But what we want to know is, is this plant expressing um, any of the uh, genetics that would protect it against western bean cutworm. Now, uh, the Herculex hybrids and the Smartstax hybrids do have a, uh, a toxin called the Cry1F, which uh, offers protection against western bean cutworm. So what we're going to do here is a very simple, what's called a gene check, or use a gene check strip to check whether this plant is expressing that Cry1F gene. So to do that, I'm going to get a piece of leaf tissue and get a, just a piece of green leaf tissue off one of the upper leaves. This is just a micro centrifuge tube with a little bit of the buffer in it. You can also use water, uh, deionized water or distilled water is best. Crunch that leaf up, put it in the bottom of the tube and then macerate it with something like this little blue plastic stick. Okay, now once you've got that tissue ground up a bit and you've got this greenish color to the liquid in there, it's just a matter of putting that stick in there and you can see, if you close up on the stick, it says Cry1F. tells you what protein you're going to be looking for. And you'll give it about two minutes for the liquid to work its way up this stick and give you either a positive or a negative test. And what you'll see is two distinct pink lines. And that tells us that this plant is indeed expressing the Cry1F gene. As we're moving forward into more and more stacks, more and more traits, uh, things like seed mixes or refuge in a bag as it's called. We're going to need to have these as part of our arsenal of, of pest management products and need to be able to test plants out in the field and know whether you should be alarmed or not by seeing significant levels of damage.